guys welcome back to the nomad chat channel today we're going to be talking about driver assist loads at Landstar so driver assist loads a hundred percent of that goes to the driver well Landstar does not get a cut out of your driver assist so whatever that's paying is paid straight to the driver so also I do, I do not want to give out any of Landstar's information as far as like what customer I'm hauling for, what agency, and that type of stuff. So that being said, I can show you my load. I can show you how it's secured. And I did take a course the other day. It's like a 45 minute class. Um, I was over at the, the shipper and it was a free course so i figured why not you know i've done window loads before it's nothing new to me you know i've done cabinets i've done tires i've done um pier one loads i've done a lot of driver assist loads but i figured it's free knowledge you know what i mean and if i could pick up something that i didn't already know before why not take the course so we're gonna walk back to the back of the trailer and we're taking my 30 minute break right now so i'm going to give you guys a little view of how it's secured and what they're looking for um also they want you to stop i think once or twice every four hours you know during your driver shift to check on the load to make sure it didn't shift or whatnot so that's what we're going to do be doing right now all right all right so we're walking back here i got another seal i'm putting putting my own seals on this because they want you to check the load like i said earlier they want you to check the load every about four or five hours so yeah Landstar gives you a bunch of these so you can break them I just put them on the back just in case you know DOT stops me or whatever and they want to look you know it's got a little seal on it so they can't say nothing this little seal right here that's the one I used from earlier So as you can see, like I said, I don't want to give any of the customers away or anything, but it's a view from the back of the trailer. Two straps. Let's hop up in here real quick. All right. So as you can see, the length of these things. Cardboard in between each of them is how they want it boom cardboard they want no metal on metal because these frames can be well these ones look like sliding glass doors but on the windows the frames like these right here the frames can be in these parts they can be a little flimsy so yeah no metal on metal cardboard in between they want two straps, top and bottom. They want it on the lowest E-track for more securement. You don't want it up here and then coming down. You want it on the lowest one com coming across. They said never to strap it across the middle because some of these I might have to restrap because you don't want it to bulge and bend. You know what I mean? You don't want the bottom sliding out. You don't want the top. You don't want them leading, leaning. You want them straight up and down. So a lot of these are sectioned off by deliveries. I got 11 stops on this. So this would be, I don't know, I have to look at my paperwork, but they have a paperwork, like a little roadmap. So like this would be stop one, stop two, just for example, I'm not saying that's stop one or stop two, but stop three, stop four. But you know, you wanna make sure they're tight, but they're not too tight to where it's gonna bend the frame. So you check all the straps, tighten it up, make sure it didn't sh shift nowhere. These seem pretty good. Just double check these. This one seems a little bit loose. So yeah, just, <clears throat> um, they also don't want 
ratchet straps um, the ones that you crank they want the pull straps on these ones if it's glass so that's how they prefer it the pull straps on those because you don't want to have a ratchet strap to where it can break the glass or whatever so yeah just go through here pull on them double check make sure they're, they're tight but not too tight looks like cardboards all the way around cardboard 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 no metal on metal no leaning two straps um, I'll get into these they went over these these little um, I forgot what they're called um, they put them on there's like three of them usually on the bottom of each frame so it, the the window frame isn't you know gliding across the wood catching on anything uh, I think I actually got one up here let me show you guys real quick yeah so this is what they look like they're made perfectly to fit the window or door or whatever and they basically will slide in and they'll stop so if the edge of the glass door or glass window or whatever and you're sliding it it'll basically hit the plastic first instead of the window plus it makes for easier sliding also when you're offloading these um, you never want to offload it off the back of the trailer on the frame of the window that's why they made these you slide it all the way to the end I'll have to do a video example of it but you just want to make sure you're not coming off the side of the trailer you know on the frame or anything like that <clears throat> another thing she told me was you know you control the trailer don't let people up in the trailer unless you absolutely need help offloading something so it's kind of like you don't want too many cooks in the kitchen you want to control your freight you don't want them to start stop offloading things that you don't even know what they offloaded you know what i mean so yeah control the trailer and uh let's see let's check the rest of this load Yeah, because you gotta there's like a tally sheet you gotta get on there. Let's see, Let's see these are the ratchet straps, how they have the side and there's cardboard, no metal on metal. <clears throat> but yeah, you have like a little tally sheet where you get on there and mark and you don't want people coming in your trailer and start pulling things off and you don't even know what they pulled off, and then you might be missing things, now you gotta report things missing, that type of stuff. So always control your trailer, always mark it off yourself always know what you have and um, don't let people come in the back of your trailer and start grabbing stuff so anyways this looks all pretty good and we're gonna hop out of here and I'll see you guys up front in a second right, so let me close this real quick Let's see if I can do this one hand maybe I can maybe I can't oh I got two hands so yeah, seal it back up, check it, you know, once or twice per run, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. If you like the content, if you learned something new today, uh, if you're thinking about coming over here at Landstar, leave a comment below. If you guys need any help with anything, buying trucks, signing on, any information about Landstar, give me a shout. Alright, see you in the next one. Bye.